I've got such a sweet little card project to share with you today celebrating Pretty Pink Posh's ninth anniversary. Hey everyone, it's Kathy Zilski. Welcome back to my channel and my studio. Today's card project is all about cuteness, a little bit of coloring, a little die cutting, all the crafty things, and it turned out pretty darn cute. To see that card project, stick around. It's coming up next. Here's a look at the products I'll be using today to create a fun little birthday card. I am going to color. I've got some of my tri-blend markers. I completely forget about these and I feel like this is going to make the coloring a little easier. And I also have this really cute little stencil from Pretty Pink Posh that has all these little birthday hats and I'm going to color this little alligator to the best of my ability and he also has the hat so i'm thinking about making a little background to ground everything together so let me get set up to stamp my images so i can color them i'm going to do a couple cupcakes too just in case i decide i want to use one i don't know until i get there so you know better to have images stamped right all right let's press you guys down and just give that a little prime Get that coating off. I will be stamping with Memento Tuxedo Black, which is an alcohol friendly ink. And the tri blends that I'm using today are alcohol. All right, and let's bring this up. And I'm going to grab my little stamping bug to press. I think that's going to look pretty good. Maybe a little more right in there. Ooh, that looks really good. Actually, I don't think I need to stamp that again. Wow, that's a great first impression. Uh, maybe a light tap, maybe just a light tap. And just go like that, press. There we go. Just a little deeper. And now I'm going to grab my markers and we'll get ready to color. Just going to wipe off this real quick with my stamp chamois. And I can put those right back onto the acetate. Pop my chamois into my little holder and close. So I've got two greens here. One is the citrus green blend, which I kind of like. And one is the alpine green. I, I don't know which one is going to make a better alligator, but I, I think I'm going to start here with this citrus because the darkest of the citrus blend looks like this. Now, one of the things that is cool about these markers, they come already with the bullet tips. They are not refillable. However, you know, it depends on how much you plan on coloring, right? If you plan on coloring a ton, which I don't, you know, you might decide, hey, this is a great option for me to get into alcohol markers. Now, I'm gonna just try this at the bottom first and I'll show you why this is cool. So that's the darkest. You open up the pen for the mid-tone. Okay, so I'm gonna color in the mid-tone like that. Both sides, I'm just playing, just seeing how it's gonna look. And the lightest shade is at the other side. And then you can just blend those together. So what you get is something that looks like you kind of know how to blend colors. And for someone like me, I, I do have Copics, right? I have quite a few Copics, but I struggle. I do struggle with Copic markers. I find them, I just don't know them as well as I would like to. So I'm going to go ahead and put on some music and we're going to, we're going to just work our way through and color in our alligator.
So I don't know if I want to color in his teeth. I might just leave them white because I don't want him to have like crazy yellow teeth. But that is all the coloring I'm going to do. I will grab the coordinating die, which is here somewhere. And oh, here we go. I've got the coordinating die. I'm not even going to bother with the cupcakes right now because he's going to be fine on his own. I am going to stamp a greeting, but not just yet. Actually, I'm not going to cut this out yet. I'm going to grab some papers and figure out my little stencil background. So I'm actually going to do a little stenciling on my stick and stamp mat today just because my other mat that I use is actually in the bathtub being cleaned. Um, so I'm going to stick this down. Now this stencil actually has one, two, three, four layers, but here's what I want to do. I want this to be a very, and actually here we go. I want to make sure that I'm using the stencil mat to its fullest potential, lining this up right on the lines like that. Okay, so that way it's holding it in place while I work. And I don't want this to be overly done or multicolor. What I want to do is take like one of these which way does it go that way? One of these lighter shades, right? So I'm gonna take a little lilac. I'm gonna tap a little off here on a little scrap piece of paper. And I just want this to be a very light coating. So we're just gonna come in like this. Really light-handed. Okay. Just so that the shape of all the hats shows up. Boy, I'm telling you, a fresh sticky mat is so great for this, okay? So we're getting you on, right, like this. Nice and light, beautiful, okay? I'm gonna peel this back to reveal the first layer, which is exactly what I wanted. Now, I'm going to bring in my second layer, and because I use this mat, all I need to do is get it right back on that line like this, and we are stuck and perfectly lined up and ready to go. <laughs> That's sliding away. So again, I'm gonna bring this lilac in, same color, just a little deeper, just so that we get the pattern, okay? And this is where if you don't have a whole suite of colors, you can always just go lighter on the first layer and then bring it in a little deeper as you go. Okay. And I am going to be trimming this panel down, but this slides a bit though. I don't know how I feel about that. Okay. Oh, lift. Now how cute is that little tone on tone, right? We're going to bring in our party hat toppers. Oh, and make sure you're, you know, this, the etching side is up. I didn't even think I didn't even think to do that, but turns out I was completely lined up. Now again, same color. So you don't really have to be super fancy, right? You could, and this one I can go darker for little tips. All right, just get that in there. Ooh, it is hard on my uh, wrists to hold this in place. That is something that I should note to myself. Although that's not going to help because that just still, yeah. All right, I love the sticky mats though. They're so cool. I think going with monochromatic is so fun, but I do have one little idea for the last stencil. And we'll take a look at that. Oh, it's so cute. Isn't that cute? Okay, there is one more stencil. And for this one, I'm gonna lay it in, right? Get it in its position again. That's why having a mat is really nice. You know what I could do? I didn't even think of this. Let me grab something. I guess if I take a piece of media grip mat, set that down, put this on top. Oh, that's what I should have done all along. I am going to add a little hint of green to bump up just a surprise, but it's going to be a light color. I am going to bring in Sprout and just add, and I think this color will be, oh, don't do that, put that away. Let's, there we go. Okay, let me see what happens here. 
oh yeah 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 if I I think that's going to be a nice green match okay it's just to add and I'm going to go light some green stars nice they're not going to be huge they're just going to be a little sweet accent a little surprise pop of color coming out to tie in the illustration and the background. This mat, that is such a great way to hold a stencil. Okay, and to line it up. Now we peel and we reveal just the sweetest little pattern for our panel. And now I know, right, that that color-wise is gonna look so cute on this. All right. Let me get this cleaned up, then we'll stamp our or we'll we'll stamp our greeting and then die cut. I think snappy birthday will be very cute here. Okay. And you know, I was thinking I was going to emboss it, but actually I'm not going to. You know, sometimes just stamping something in black ink looks fantastic. So I could have stamped this all at once. I don't I didn't, you know, I thought I was gonna be doing a I thought I was going to do a gold, but I'm not. So here, here we go. I want to see if this is straight though. So I keep my little washi piece of acetate just so that it can show me where I'm stamping. So let's see. And sometimes I do this when I, after I've colored something, right? And you just kind of want to say, how's that going to look? Pick it up. Snappy birthday. See, that's a little off. See, it's a little off to the side. So I think what I will do, wipe it off, get this back in place here, dry it off, pick this up, and let's see if we can get more in the center this time, like maybe like that. Snappy birthday. Oh, it's very sticky to this. Let's try that, okay? I still think I'm shifted. It's sticking to my fingers. <laughs> let's try that. It might be the exact same location. To be honest, it might be. Let's see. Snap it birthday. I think that's better, right? We're gonna go for it. All right. Wipe it away. It's gonna be great. It's just a way to make sure that you like the look and I highly recommend just keep a piece of acetate from packaging or cut a piece, put some washi on it and keep it nearby. Just stamping it in the same black ink and coming down and a little press. Snappy birthday, and that, my friends, looks great. I could probably just give it another little press. Isn't that cute? I actually like it in black ink. Okay, now we'll get the die. All right, I've got the coordinating die taped into place, and I'll go ahead and cut that out real quick. All right, let us see. I think I did it. Oh, I did a good job. Isn't that cute? So let me get ready to complete the card. I'm going to take a piece of lovely lavender cardstock from Gina K Designs. I think this will look cute for my note card base. And this is four and a quarter by five inches. Okay, give that a nice press. And I'm gonna tape it closed. Like that, okay. And there we go. I have trimmed this little friend down. Let's see, what size did I make it? It is three and a quarter by four and three quarters. And I put some foam tape on the back. Oh, I love, oh, I love a broad margin. I just put the same foam tape here on my little friend. See, and here's the thing, I'm not the best colorer in the world. So I am, don't stick. Okay, that was almost a disaster. Whew, deep breath, Kath, deep breath. Um, I'm not the best colorer and that's okay. You don't have to be great at everything, but you know what, this is cute. And it, let's say you gave this to a kid. I don't think the child, unless he were a prodigy art major who was like, you know, deconstructing Renaissance, God knows what, you know what I mean? I don't think he's gonna say, you know, your shading's a little strange. I think he's going to be caring not a lick about the card and wanting to get to the gift inside. You know what I'm saying? So let's drop it down like that. So simple. 
That looks pretty straight and press. And see how I just picked up a little green from my little guy? It's really cute. Okay, should I add a little shine? I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't need shine, but I do have an idea. I'm just gonna add five sequins for a little shine and I might color uh, on his hat. Boop. I haven't decided yet, but I do have a boop, wink, of, wink of Stella pen. I'm not afraid to use it. Boop. Boop. And just right there. Boop. Just for a little shine. Let me grab my pen. So this is a wink of Stella and they call this one Clear, GL Clear. I mean, it's kind of silvery. It's not really clear, right? It's close. Um, but I think all I'm going to do is just color in the blue on his hat. Not the whole hat, just the blue dots. Now, see, that's something that you know is there and I know is there. And it's so cute. Just a little, just a little shine. And then on the top, too. Just on the top. So we got a shiny top. Oh, I can see it in the light here. It's kind of hard sometimes to pick up, but that's just a little extra shine, a little surprise, and that is the finished card project. I wonder if you can pick up the shine. I'll zoom in. Let's take a look. Now here's the thing. Again, my coloring is not the best in the land, right? That's not the, see there's, see the little shine? There it is, there it is, and it'll dry all shiny. You don't have to be the greatest colorer to create a really sweet card. I used a stencil to do mostly a monochromatic design. Just picked a couple colors to work with. Basically, these are three or two of the three triadic Halloween colors because purple, green, and orange work great together. You can drop out any color from a triadic scheme and it's going to look great. So that is the finished card project today. And I thank you for watching. You can find links to all the supplies I used in today's video in the YouTube description box. I always appreciate it when you shop with my links. It helps to directly support my channel and my small business. Please hit that subscribe button and I will see you back here with another card project soon. To see a few more ideas for birthday card projects, check out the two thumbnails I have linked for you below and I will see you in those videos.